What I want to do today is talk about packing for your Ireland tour. The reason I want to talk about it is that packing for Ireland is a little bit different than what you might experience when you pack for other places. Most of the time when you go on a trip, you might go there, unpack, stay in one place the whole time, and then repack and come home. Or maybe you move once. In Ireland, what happens is that you tend to move a lot. I know on my tours, we're gonna to move four, five, six times, depending on the length of the tour, because there's just different parts to see in different parts of the country, so we have to stay on the move. So that changes things for me, and so I'm gonna show you how I deal with that and how I make sure I have everything I need, but pack light. Before I get talking too much, let me say this, that this is how I do it. This is exactly how I'm going to pack for virtually every trip to Ireland. I might change it a little bit over time, but this is what I do. That doesn't mean this is what you have to do. You do it your way. I'm just trying to create this, you know, hopefully you'll get some helpful tips out of that that you, you can incorporate into your own way of packing. Anyway, with that said, here's what we're gonna do. What I have here is my camera bag, which I bring, and my suitcase, which I bring, and they're all packed full of all my stuff. So the first thing here is suitcase. This is a carry-on size suitcase. Uh, I fly on American virtually all the time because I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. They're based here, so I can be pretty sure I'm flying American. Um, this fits in the American overhead bins. Uh, you can look on the website of whatever airline you fly and see how big the overhead bins will be and, and what they allow. And I suggest you do that if you want to carry a carry-on like I do. Uh, then I'm gonna have my camera bag, which has a lot of other things in it as well. I thought I'd mention here real quick, what I have here are the clothes that I'm going to wear on the plane, okay? So that's a key part of what we're gonna do because what I do is pick out some of the bulkier items and wear them on the plane. That way I don't have to pack them in here. So maybe we'll start with that. I'll push this to the side for a moment and start with this. Uh, a rain jacket. You need a rain jacket in Ireland. You just do. It, it rains there sometimes. Maybe not as much as, as you think because we typically don't go in the worst rainy months. People don't usually go to Ireland in November, January, February, months like that when it does rain all the time. Uh, and uh, but we go, you know, usually May through September and it rains some of the time, but you'll need a rain jacket. This works in other ways as well. It's a good windbreaker because a lot of times you end up being in these remote places, maybe on, on a, a coastline or even a cliff and it's a good windbreaker there and it's a good source of, of warmth as well. So I usually wear this as my outer layer. Uh, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to try to pack it in here, typically, uh, but I have it out. I didn't do as good a job of packing as I, as I like to do, but uh, I wanted to mention it. Maybe I'll wear it on the plane. Maybe I'll get to pack it. Um, good rain jacket is, is a must. The other things I'm going to have with me, I'm going to have uh, a pair of pants. I bring a vest. Basically, my warm flare is going to be some sort of uh, fleece or sweater or, or some sort of insulation layer and then I'll wear a vest a lot of times and then maybe uh, the rain jacket as well and there's you know never been a time in Ireland when I've been cold uh, with that setup a lot of times you don't need all that so I'll take one of those off but that's what I like to have I keep the vest with me sometimes it gets cold on the plane so I like to have it there as well uh, and if even if I don't need it it makes uh, a good thing I can fold up and use as a pillow or something like that. Um, I bring hiking boots. I wear them on the plane because they're big and bulky and I don't want to put these in my suitcase. Um, this is what I use day to day. I do that for a couple reasons. Number one, they're obviously very good for walking around in. Number two, you end up on trails a lot. Those trails can be sometimes a little muddy. Uh, sometimes you want to make sure you have good grip and things like that. You don't need hiking boots for Ireland. Uh, I like them, I wear them, and, and I, they're good too because they're very sturdy, they're waterproof. I can just wipe them off and I'm in good shape. So I like them. You don't need them, but that's what I do. If you do bring them, then try to avoid packing them because it's just going to be a, uh, it's going to take up a lot of space. Incidentally, I would say that too. That's the real key is that pick your items that are going to take up a lot of space and then wear them. 
and then that way you don't have uh, to worry about space as much. So other than that, uh, pants and a shirt. Um, I wear these kind of pants all the time. And I actually learned this in Ireland. I, I used to be a dedicated jeans guy. And I was going to Ireland one time. I was going to climb Karen Tool, which is the tallest mountain in Ireland. And they don't allow jeans on the hike or the climb. And so I went to, I think, REI or something like that and got a pair of, of uh, pants that I could hike in. And they were just waterproof khakis with some pockets in them and stuff. And so I bought them and they were fine. And what I realized is that they were fantastic pants for just touring in, trekking in, doing anything in. Uh, and then I realized they were just fantastic overall. And eventually I threw away all my jeans. I literally own no more jeans. I wear these waterproof pants all the time. They're great too, because they're easy to clean. You can, since they're this waterproof stuff, you can just wipe them off real quick and, and they're good. Or if you do wash them, they dry really, really fast. More about that as we go. So that's what I'm gonna wear on the plane. Now let's get into what I'm gonna pack. So I'll move my camera bag out of the way. We'll talk about that in a second. Again, I just bring a carry-on. I just don't like checking luggage. Uh, I, I don't like dealing with uh, the that when you go to the airport. I don't like uh, the, the fact that sometimes they get lost. Uh, I, I just don't like it. It also keeps things in check for me, so I make sure I'm not overpacking. So that's just me. Most people that, that come with me uh, check a bag. In fact, I think everybody checks a bag but me. But anyway, I don't like to. So then let's look at what we have in here. And uh, some of the stuff you will need and some of the stuff you won't. The first thing I want to suggest to you is that you get these packing cubes. These things are awesome. They keep you organized uh, and uh, they keep your stuff separate. And that's especially great for when you're packing and unpacking uh, quite a bit like we'll be doing on this trip. We'll talk more about what's in them in a second. I bring another pair of shoes. I learned this on a trek in Nepal. They uh, recommended that we bring some sort of shoes to have in the tea houses. And uh, a lot of times people just brought flip flops, but I got, I brought these because they take up, they smush down. So they take up no more room than a pair of flip flops, but they're covered and they're warmer. You can wear these around the hotel. You can wear these around town a little bit or something like that. These are nothing special. They're just sketchers. I bet you they cost no more than 15 bucks, but just a pair of paint of uh, shoes that you can mush down that you can wear around the hotel uh, or something like that is, is a really good thing. So I bring that. Um, I'm gonna get this out. You won't probably need this, but I bring a drone. And so, and I pack it in here uh, so that, again, that's another reason I bring it as a carry-on because I don't want to check this. So if you like drones, bring your drone. You can fly it off the coast and things like that, and that's pretty neat. But if you don't, then you're gonna save yourself a lot of room. So uh, that's that. The other thing I have in here is my tripod. Um, and what's good about this is that essentially I can put it in here and then once I get to Ireland, I take it out and I never have it in this suitcase again. And so even though it was a little bit tight when I packed it for the plane, once I'm in Ireland, I'll have this out all the time. So I have a little uh, breathing space there. So it's easier to pack stuff. So I keep my tripod in, in here. Some people will be able to keep it in a pocket or an attachment to their camera bag. If that's you, that's great. So uh, I will have that there. I like the small fold-down tripods. Uh, that one's pretty sturdy. That is a MeFoto Globetrotter model is what I use, but there's a lot of great models out there. I'm not suggesting you need to get that. Um, I bring a hat and I bring gloves. Gloves may be a little bit overkill, but you know, we're not going to be in a horribly frigid place, but keep in mind that, you know, people who like photography end up standing in remote places, very often on coastlines uh, where there's a lot of wind. And we do it at times like before sunrise and in the time after sunset. And those are cool parts of the day with a lot of breeze. And so keep yourself comfortable and bring yourself uh, some nice warm clothes. Hat and gloves are important, and so uh, I do that. Um, let's go ahead and talk about power, and we're gonna talk more about that as we get into the camera and stuff like that. But, you know, if you're like me, you're bringing 
camera, you're going to be charging batteries. I've got a drone, I'm going to be charging batteries. I've got a laptop, I've got my phone, I've got an iPad, and I even bring a GoPro sometimes and, and shoot some video with people. And so that's a lot of stuff and it's a lot of charging. And so I want something like this that I can plug into. What I do is I just have a UK style uh, adapter and that's what we're going to use. And then I just have one of these and I will uh, plug it into this little power strip. This little power strip then has six uh, standard outlets, US, and it also has three USB outlets. So why do I have this? Because in Ireland, very often, there's not a ton of power outlets. Frankly, and a lot of times in the US, there's not a ton of power outlets. This way, I can just plug this into one outlet, which is always there. And then I have all these outlets that I can charge everything. Uh, at once. And so that works uh, really well. I will usually bring another adapter too, just because they're small. But I do recommend that you do something like this. This one's actually a little bulky for me. I've seen they, uh, and I had one, but I lost it. It's a, uh, a power strip about this size, but the cord sort of wraps around it. Uh, so if you see one of those, that's a really good thing to have. That takes up a little more room than I, I'd like. So uh, I don't love that, but get one like that. This is my toiletries bag. Uh, there's, I don't think there's anything special we need to talk about here. Just toothpaste, toothbrush. Oh, there are a couple things here. Um, two things. One is I bring these little shout wipe and go things. They just always come in handy. Uh, wipe, if you get stuff on your pants or your shirt, you can wipe it off when we're out in the vans touring around and stuff like that. So these are pretty handy. I usually have four or five of these. Um, I also bring these Tide packs. So let's talk about washing your clothes in Ireland. Hotels will have laundry. You can have them do your laundry for you. Almost always, it's one of those deals where if you get it to them by 9, 10 in the morning, then they have it to you by the next morning. So as long as you're not only staying one night, you're good. And, and we almost never are. So you can have the hotels do your laundry in Ireland. It, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but it's possible, and you certainly don't want to be screwing around trying to do your own laundry. One thing you might do though, and, and you'll see throughout this, I only bring these waterproof khaki pants, and I only bring tech shirts that dry quickly, and then that way I can use these little Tide packets. I can simply wash them in the sink real quick, hang them dry in the shower, and it everything's dry overnight. And so really fast, I can do laundry in my room and, and be in good shape with these little tie packets. So I like these, but you know, you don't have to, if you want, you can have the uh, hotel uh, bring your own. Uh, I, I bring some Advil along as well, just cause you never know. And uh, be sure if you have any medications or anything like, like that, you keep those filled. Other than that, this is just standard toiletry stuff. So uh, we're all good there. Then here are, are my clothes. In here, all I have are uh, extra pants. I have two, two extra pair of pants, so I'll have the ones I wear plus two, and I can just rotate those and keep them clean uh, throughout the trip. So all good there. For shirts, I'm going to have uh, usually five uh, shirts. I'll have a couple of short sleeve shirts, and that's what I have here. Again, these are sort of athletic tech shirts. Um, and then I'll have a couple of uh, one, two, two long sleeve ones plus the one I'm wearing. So I'll have five shirts. What I then have in addition is this is smart wool. So if it's cool, I can put this on over that. I mentioned you might want a fleece. You might want a little jacket like this. Anything will work. I've lately become uh, enamored with this smart wool stuff. So I'll put that over here. I'll have then my vest as well and then that rain jacket if I need it as well. So there's no conditions in which I won't be warm doing that. And then I can just peel off layers. So all good there. So there are the shirts and I think that pretty well does it for all of the, the clothes. So now let's get into the fun stuff, which is the photo array. Um, I have in my bag a, a uh, laptop pouch where I keep my laptop and I'm sort of in an in-between phase. I used to always bring my laptop. I just got this iPad. Um, and so now I'm sort of bringing both. Uh, but th this is meant to replace this. I just sort of haven't got there yet. So right now I have both of these. I'll have this on the plane for sure. Reading books, stuff like that. And then if I want to work on photos, I do like this better. Even though 
Photoshop and Lightroom for the iPad has come a long way and you definitely can do it. One thing I did want to mention, and I don't really need these because I have a, a card reader in my laptop, but you might, you'll need a card reader to get your, your photos into either your iPad or your laptop. I have this little card reader for my iPad. I also have one uh, around here somewhere for my uh, uh, computer. So if you don't have a slot, make sure you, you have a way to do that. But frankly, we'll probably have them too, so it's not that big a deal. One other thing I do, and man, I kind of hate these, but this particular one, I don't know, it's called Kebo. I just bought it in the airport. It's one of those uh, neck pillows, and, and th those things are hateful. I, I don't like them. The difference in this one, though, is that it attaches to the, the, uh, the backrest uh, on your seat. And so it keeps you in one place. I, I feel like that helps a little bit and helps me sleep. I'm a big proponent of doing anything you can to help yourself sleep on the plane going to Ira. Because if you can get some sleep, then you can uh, uh, wake up and hit the ground running. Almost always you're arriving at like seven, eight, nine in the morning. Your hotel's not ready. You're really tired. So anything you can do to get some sleep is really, really helpful. So. Now let's get into the actual camera stuff here. Uh, this, in terms of the bag, this is nothing special. This is a, an Amazon Basics bag that I bought myself uh, several years ago. I actually was in the market for a new bag and got this as a stopgap because it only cost $30 uh, until I could find the, the bag of my dreams. And uh, I never found the bag of my dreams and I've kept using this and uh, it only cost $30. So I do, I do like these and, and they're pretty good. Um, so you're going to bring your camera and your standard walking around lens. My camera and my standard walking around lens are being used to film this right now. So this is just a spare camera that I have around here. Uh, so let me tell you the lenses I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring a 24 to 70, which is what I'm using to film this. So you can't see that. Uh, that is, if I'm just walking around with my camera with a lens on it, that's what I'm using. Uh, that's what I have. I, I use it you know, probably 50, 60% of the time. The other lens that I bring for sure is a wide angle lens. Uh, for me, that's a 16 to 35, um, you know, but that'll vary depending on your, uh, your, your camera. Keep in mind, if you're not using a full frame camera, you're using an APS-C or a micro four thirds, that you'll need to get one that's, that's really wide uh, because your, your camera's crop back or we're making things look closer. Um, I, Typically bring then some kind of zoom. It's always a struggle because these things are big and these things are heavy. I don't use mine very much. And it's one of those deals where I, I brought it to Ireland four or five times and never used it. And then I didn't bring it one time and really wanted it. So there's no right answer here. I have it packed right now, but this is a game time to see. Other than that, just your battery charger, of course, and some batteries. How many batteries do you need? You can get away with two. Uh, I probably have three or four that I typically bring. Um, one other thing, uh, neutral density filters. Uh, I recommend that you bring at a minimum a six stop neutral density filter. I like the kind that you circle onto the lens of your camera, so make sure that it fits either your walking around lens or your wide angle lens uh, is what you'll typically use these on. Uh, start with a six stop, but you know, you may want others. Uh, a, a 10 stop is a good addition and maybe even a three stop uh, if the six stop is too much. But I will tell you, you can do a lot with a six stop. So if you only want to get one, get a six stop neutral density filter. And I frankly consider this mandatory equipment because there's so much you're going to be doing with water in your pictures in Ireland and you want to be in control of how that water looks and you do that with this filter and that allows you to manipulate your controls in such a way that you that you know the water looks the way you want. So for sure one of these. Um, cards and memory. I bring you know several typically because I have some for my camera, I have some for the drone, I have some for other things. Um, but you know if you're just bringing a camera, I would just get one or two really big cards and that's it. Uh, but make sure you do have enough memory. Typically I shoot, you know, a big day will be something like eight gigs. So if you round up to 10, you can do the math uh, pretty easy. If you're gonna go for a week, that's seven times 10 is 70. So if you have a, say a uh, 120 some odd gig card, you're probably in pretty good shape just with that one card. 
So that's that. Another thing I bring is a flash, and that's particularly if uh, you're coming on one of my tours because uh, we're gonna uh, play with it a little bit and show you how to use these, and uh, uh, you know you'll you'll want to have one. I just have a, a young new. I have several of these. Um, they're cheap and uh, they work just as well. So uh, I, I recommend getting one if you don't already have one uh, and bringing it with you as well. I have a little diffuser cap as well uh, that I like. So that's what I have in here. Oh, here's a little guy to blow out your camera and things like that to keep dust away. So let's talk about what is in the pocket now. Um, I have just, these are mostly just charging devices. This is for the laptop. This is for uh, my, my phone and the iPad and stuff like that. I'm a big proponent of putting stuff in little baggies. That way it just makes it easier to get stuff out and then put it back in without having stuff uh, get messy on you. Um, one other thing is a rain sleeve. If it rains and rains hard, then I will be indoors. Uh, you can stay outdoors if you like, but I will be there. Uh, if it rains a little bit, or if I'm worried about something, then I will uh, use one of these. This is a $7 item, I think, that you can get in virtually any camera store. Uh, all it does is cinch down over your lens in front, and then you can reach in from the back and uh, do the controls on your camera. This actually, if you buy a new one, it'll come down like this, but I felt like that was overkill, so I cut it in half, so I just kind of reach in like that. So that will protect your camera from any uh, water that might be there. Let's see here. Other than that, I don't have much in here that I think we need to worry about. I like, I bring a pair of headphones, basically for the plane, uh, if nothing else to be uh, noise cancellation uh, in case uh, of kids crying or whatever. Uh, unfortunately, I need reading glasses sometimes. Um, uh, unfortunately, we often need these masks in airports these days. And other than that, we're just dealing with stuff like pens. One thing I do recommend is a uh, little chapstick. Not that you can't get it there, but uh, you know we'll be outdoors a lot, so you might uh, uh, need it. Here's two last things I'll talk about. Are uh, These are my spare batteries and the lens cap. And then this is a little uh, charger just for phones and stuff that uh, I'm gonna bring with me and have in the car or in the vans. Keep in mind that if you're on tour with us that we're gonna have a lot of people in the vans. I'm not sure how many uh, uh, charging outlets there will be. So you may wanna have yourself a little portable charger for your phone and whatnot uh, during the day while we're driving around. So that is it. I think I've covered everything. That is what I recommend you bring for packing in Ireland. Again, do it your way, bring it how you want. Limit it though to two bags, one suitcase, which can be, you know, carry-on size or you can check it. And then typically your camera bag, but if you're not a photographer, then just some other smaller carry-on. Uh, that will allow you then to pack, repack quickly, get it in the vans and not have it be a big drag on your trip. One final thing I'll mention is keep in mind, you're gonna buy stuff in Ireland. You may just buy a t-shirt, you may buy a bunch of things. So you may wanna leave yourself some room in the bag so you can fit it when you go home. Other than that, if you have any questions, let me know.